Hello, this is Ison Quinn, and this is another episode of Elite Dangerous, where we're trying to make some credits. If you've watched the first two uh, parts of this series, you'll find that uh, I've basically started from a low-level ship, moved up to a higher transport. Now I'm in the ASP, and uh, I'm trying to earn credits by doing missions that are not smuggling missions, not combat missions, and I had ruled out planetary missions, but since this planet was so cool, I thought I'd, I'd have to visit it, and I will bookmark it to come back. Some interesting stuff and some gravitational issues going on here. Five by five. Okay, so let's go ahead in. Uh, so far, what I've been doing, I'm on the fringe of basically uh, the highest population system. The, I'll show the map in a few seconds, but the, the blob of all the powers that are controlling uh our known universe, the small portion of it. I've moved out to the fringe and I'm hauling uh, mainly domestic uh, material back into the near fringe. And since I don't have a reputation with any of the services, I am only getting about uh, three to 500,000 credits per run. But I can typically do about 10 runs. I try to keep it closer to five or six. And I'm immediately joined by my co-host, Thackeray the Cat, who is going for a microphone grab just because he wants in on the action. So let's see what we've got here as far as collecting on this mission. I'm at 4.5 right now. When I started this run, which I originally had started filming, realized it was a little bit long, I thought I'd start from this point and get, give an idea what's going on. So I started at 4.1 million and... I've only done two drops so far. This one was worth nearly half a million. Well, half a million. So it brought me up to, to five million. Uh, so what I'm saying is that without doing uh, smuggling runs, you can actually uh, make a considerable amount of money. My reputation, you see, is just, it's a neutral. It's about to go over. I've only done one series of runs, several, several drops, but... Uh, these runs are around 100 light years, so I'm in an ASP. I can jump 20 light years, uh, a little bit more, depending on the cargo load. You could do these missions in a uh, Cobra. It's a little bit faster than, if you've watched Part 1 and Part 2, it's a little bit faster than those because they pay so much. Those, those rare missions that paid 200000 300000 I was doing the prior issue, uh, episodes, you can actually take your Cobra out here and, and do them and get money uh, much faster because if you take two or three missions they're all going to be in uh, approximately the same area uh, there's actually fewer pirates too as you can see the cargo hold like this mission that i have on the screen right now i'm not going to accept this one because i have a central hub i'm working from but three units and 18 units and you could do these in very low end ships uh, i'm guessing they're the reason for this is they, they want people to explore had I known about it, I would have come out here to, to start with. And this isn't the far fringe like you uh, see a lot of people talking about going to Maya uh, or the, I forget the asylum's name. Those are very far out, and I imagine they do pay more. So far, I'm, I'm doing about a, uh, this, this run I'll do 2 million. I've got uh, a number of stops, let me see how many. I have some missions back from the inner area. I got three there, so uh, let me see. If it says domestic appliance, uh, <laughs> domestic, domestic appliances, that seems to be what I'm delivering for is a domestic appliance uh, company or they're hiding stuff in it. So we got three runs. I had uh, three others, so six runs start at 4.1 million and up to 5 million. I'm trying to think. Uh, did I do th this? This was the third run, yeah. So this was the third run. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check out the uh, commodities. And then as I go to the next mission, I'll explain what's going on. I, I realized that when I was doing uh, the original video, it was just taking a, a while because I was exploring around and looking at things. Uh, the jumps actually aren't that. It's about five jumps. You know, it's 100, 100 light years. And these are really small stations, so they don't have much to offer. I'll take a look at contacts, see if there's a black market here. And I do want to bookmark this planet. Combat bond, nope. Because I would like to come back to explore it. 
And as we're going to the next mission, I will talk about my ship and its loadout. As I say, you could do an Abra, I'm in a, uh, a Cobra, I'm in an Asp right now because I was planning on doing some exploring and I've been working hard to do an Asp. In fact, I have a Twitch series where I did Asp or Bust. There's some puns in there, I apologize. But uh, I ran as many missions using the method I did in uh, part one of the video uh, to get the ASP. And then once I got it, I got here and realized I, I could have been doing these much, much easier. And still the same style, just regular missions where you just will drop off some uh, domestic appliances, toasters. I'm, I'm hauling toasters. Only three ships here. Okay, well, we've got all we need here. All I need to do is go to the map to mark this. Uh, it, there, the terrain is its just an ice planet, but there's a lot of, there's looks like uh, geysers on it and a, a variety of things. So, And the, the system's fairly busy for being an ice planet. And it's pretty far out in the system as well. So uh, and I'll show you when I, on this map where we are in respect to where it initially started, which is pretty much near, I think, 15 or 12 light years from where the, you start in the game. So, very nondescript. So, yeah, this one down here is about, this is as far as away as you can get, I believe. So, I want to bookmark that. Okay, it's Witch Hall. Well, that's got to be an interesting place. Oh, I didn't go too far, so we'll zoom out a little bit. See, we're sort of in the center core. Where I'm running my missions out of, I actually came here, which is just on the fringe. Uh, let's get the name. And you don't have to use the same one. There's plenty out here, but you're obviously welcome to use it. Because I'm, I'm in solo, so uh, player mode right now, because the drops on the server have been so egregious that I'm still doing uh, solo. Uh, so 64 Ardeus, uh That's the best way to pronounce it. That's then take a look at this over here is where I guess I want to spin around the other way so we can actually get a perspective so this large collection of bookmarks where I still have three missions I'm just blatantly going to uh, ignore uh, is where I started and I made about 10 jumps to come to this point and I was going out here to Maya or Maya, but when I stopped the station to refuel, I saw some very good missions, and I've just been running back to this area. It's about five jumps at, at 20 light years. Uh, a jump. If you do less than 20 light years a jump, then obviously you might do a few more jumps. If you can get, I'm trying to get enough money to get, in fact, let me see if I have uh, enough now. I would like to get a uh, class A uh, frame uh, drive so that way I can take fewer jumps in this area and I'm still just at neutral I think when I go up the next level the, the pay will get a little bit better imagine the pirates will too so let's go to the frame drive I just skipped my, what's my so I do have a fuel tank of 32 I would suggest you have a lot of fuel I have a fuel scoop scoop I really don't need it uh, but I put one on thinking I would need it so let's go over here and see if they have anything. I doubt they have anything at the station. Well, they might. You know, a lot of people, I guess, just fly in and want to fix their ship. Not much else to do out here. So I would like to get the C. I, I would like to get the A is what I'd like to get. But it doesn't look like they have an A. And what, what do I have right now? Yeah, I already have a B, so let's see. So I'm trying to get the A. I think it might be around five million. Well, we'll get that nonetheless. I, I have a few other things on the ship that I don't need. Remove the weapons just to increase the jump range. That's important. And I also put a couple heat sinks. If you're going out in the great beyond, if you're exploring, uh, I have found you definitely want heat sinks because you drop into some stars that immediately knock you out and you're cooking between the two of those and if you don't have a means to get rid of some of that heat while you're waiting for your uh, frame drive 
to speed up, you're you're gone. So you definitely want to be able to handle heat, possibly even more. And this is a bug, by the way, that the game has. It has now told me that basically I can't land on the planet because I don't have the software, and it just hurtled me in the space. So why don't we just go ahead and take off? I'll get rid of my landing gear. And let me find. I was going to find my next mission, but. Brutally tossed out in the space. Let's see if this one's close. Of course, it's not going to show me because of that bug. It would be nice to make sure I'm, I'm climbing in altitude and not falling. And let's see, where am I? relationship to all I'm pretty close to this one so take that and I got two more over there no system map okay so I guess I will how can I not have a system map when I have a place to deliver it to interesting it's economy so I guess no system description available well, let me plot a course. Pretty darn close. So, and we'll see what I find out when I get there. Some of these systems, as you see, are not well explored, which I guess is why the payment rate is higher. And it, it seems like there is a great need, an incredible need for toasters, since that's all I'm delivering, and usually four or five toasters. You know what I should do is just Frame in case that. Drive I have delivered as many as 21 toasters for half a Four, million. Three, and this is actually two, just the second run. So I came out here with 1.2 million. Uh, and my second run I'm now up to 5 million. And these are the poor paying jobs. Now the further you go out, I'm sure the, the better it gets. But uh, right now the, the pay is pretty good. And I want to upgrade the ship anyhow, so. Frame ship drive charging. Oh, and there's a pirate who found me. That's Marcus. We go way back. He's come all the way out here to find me. I, I'm not going to stay in the system long enough for Marcus to bother me, but I'm sure he'll meet me at the next location. And this time I sort of took a scattered group. I didn't mean to. I thought I was going to one location and I got this one oddball one I believe uh, after it then the other location so the one bit of advice is avoid this situation is why you need heat sinks and let me see if I can just get beyond this figure out what is going on with my coordinates. Uh, this looks like the system I got. No, it's not. Got different names. Let me go into the, the map. I dislike doing that when there's a pirate in hot pursuit of me, but I do not believe this is the system that I'm looking for, so to speak. Well, I guess this might be good. There's lots of complications. This is the system I'm looking for. I must have locked the wrong one before. There we go. That explains why. No. Okay, well, let's try that again. Uh, maybe Marcus has caught up with this by now. That double star combo, when you come in, is uh, pretty dangerous, and you don't you do want the heat sinks uh, for that. Let me engage in some tea. I do have a, a fuel scoop on this. I use it by the fact that I always come in at suns and use it, but I don't think I've ever used more than a half 
a tank of fuel. I've got a big tank, but uh, you could probably drop the frame ship drive in and get some uh, extra cargo space. Ah, oh, there's another one of those. Sons. And I do have an advanced scanner just because as I'm passing through, if I can pick up some extra credits like that. If you really want to collect money, then get the highest one, which will scan the entire system. This one's a thousand light year range. The basic is 500 light year range. And get a planetary uh, scanner so you don't have to go to the planets. Or I guess you still go to the planets, but maybe it gives you more detail. And you could probably make a considerable profit just driving around these systems. And not delivering stuff. That would depend on uh, you. But that way you can lead it into exploring, if that's what you're you're doing. Or fur heading further out, which I think you will need a uh, big, 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 big sun there. Well, I'm discovering a lot of new objects. Now, let's see if my mission will tell me where I'm, I need to go. Still discovering objects. Okay, to Kaylee Dock. All right. Maybe it said that before and I just didn't see it. Let me go ahead and... Oh, there it is. Oh, I moved it over. Interesting, I have a character in some of my short fiction named Kaylee. Or Kelly, depending on how you want it. Pretty much spelled the same way, yeah. She's an assassin, though. So this this one is the most oddball that, that I've had, and it's the, the one that's that's out of the way. It's eighteen thousand light seconds. You you will encounter this. It's sometimes they're pretty much off the beaten track because these systems don't have anything. Let me check my email to see that there's a pirate coming after me. Oh, I guess I missed a deadline. I was exploring well, 87,000. would have been a nice one. That was for 22 domestic appliances. I think they're hiding something in these appliances. Oh, there's Marcus again. So we are going to be interdicted, which is why you want heat sinks again uh, and good thrusters. I uh, can only achieve about 366. I would prefer, my experience has taught me to go with over 400 if you can uh, in the last uh, part two of the video which is the prequel to part one though it's called part two uh, I was using the Cobra and you could easily use a Cobra for this mission uh, I, since I bought this ship I'm using it uh, I could actually buy a Cobra out here and do it a little bit faster I suppose uh, but the Cobra was going over 400 meters a second with thrust so uh, that made it very easy to, to get away but there is something else that I've, I've noticed, and when I checked on the forums, other people have uh, been making uh, comments about it. As the NPCs, after this latest uh, update, have become much, much tougher. I noticed it when uh, flying Type 6 uh, transport that a, a, a Cobra would interdict me, and within... 10 seconds have my shields down and going into uh, armor. That's a little bit fast when I had a pretty strong field uh, shield generator on it. Uh, very difficult to, to outrun uh, because they, they can keep uh, the interdiction field on you so you can't it takes a long time to gain uh, speed. The longer it takes you to gain speed, the hotter your engines get, the more likely you're going to overheat again need for heat sinks. I put two heat sinks on the, uh, this ship. As I said, I think four might be better. They do take up mass, but you'll need them when you get interdicted. Anyway, other people complain that the uh, NPCs have become much stronger, perhaps too strong. And from the few times that they have destroyed me, which was within seconds, uh, I think that maybe they've unintentionally made them a little bit overpowered or OP. Uh, now a lot of people say well that's just because you don't know how to play. 
uh, the, this is a response on the forums, usually trolling to try and, you know, get people insulted. Some have suggested flying backward toward the sun and then uh, uh, shooting at the NPC because flying backward confuses them. If that is the combat tactic for destroying the NPCs, then there's definitely something wrong. Uh, and people with uh, larger ships have, you know, who are, who are combat hardened, who just like to do combat, have noticed as well that uh, it's very hard to take out uh, the NPCs. Uh, I have, in between videos, uh, going back to my Cobra, just for revenge sake, to take out some of uh, the pirates, and they're they're too fast in their Cobras. I'm trying to slow down here, I need to. Jabberin so I can actually land on the planet before Marcus does catch me. Uh, can't catch them, Cobra to Cobra. Sure, they've got a better fit out than I do. And I'm sure they do. Uh, but maybe four or five hits, my shields are down. I, and I had a high-end uh, shield generator on that. And endless shots... When, it, when I get close enough with uh, flat cannons and uh, pulse lasers, and I, I can't bring their shields down. And obviously they're not damaging any components. I've got smoking components everywhere. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I don't mind them being tougher. In fact, I, I welcome them being tougher because prior to the update, they, they were a little bit silly. Uh, but I don't want to meet somebody these are novice uh, pilots and admittedly I'm not a good pilot but you know when I have overwhelming firepower on my side I should be able to do a little bit of damage uh, if I can't then it's completely pointless Docking for me to even try limited. and try to learn because you know I don't know what I could learn in you can target specific things but when you are firing flak and pulse lasers and you you can't uh, take the shields down uh, and prior to that I used to, to go into the uh, when I was first starting out the, the resource zones and you know destroy a lot of ships yes I had help but uh, I have tackled a number of them on my own and brought the shields down much faster with that very same configuration So be, uh, be wary. Some people have suggested that if you get interdicted uh, and you can't get away, just exit the game. I guess it doesn't destroy you. I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. But if, if that's the solution for the average player who's not a combat ace, then they do need to, to fix it. I mention this because if you're going to be hauling a lot of cargo be wary uh, because the pirates are pretty good so what I've done is I've increased my shield generator strength and I've put larger thrusters the largest I could afford I could probably afford better now but that will affect my jump range so until I get a better uh, frame drive I probably won't put the better thrusters on let's see we are at five million I only got one in this area I believe so I don't remember what it paid. I hope it paid well, and that might have been why I took it, or I wasn't thinking and thought it was in the, the right area. As you can see, I do a poor job with the map. Although, I, admittedly, I normally am focusing on something else when I'm doing these videos. So 488, so that, that is pretty good pay. And it's increased my RAM, still neutral. Now you can see here's an assassination mission. That's only 163,000. I, I delivered, I don't know, maybe 20 uh, units of domestic uh, products, sorry, toasters. And I'm getting paid more than assassination. It's the length, the 100 light year haul, so you, uh, you want the most jump you can get. Okay, I think all these other ones are in close proximity. There's another Jones Orbital. There's one back in Sinan also. 
Oh, so, yeah, these are the only two. Let's see if it will actually pull up the target location. This is a bug that comes on and off. And I've been playing for about an hour, so I might get stuck with the reboot in the middle of this. There we go. Okay, so we see that two of them are not that far uh, apart. So I'll go ahead with this one, and the next one, and then head back. Okay, this one's going to give me nothing on the map as well. Can't buy the data. Let me, well, let me try going to the other one. There we go. See where this one goes, and then we'll hit the other one. Some of this might be buggy because that's starting to happen, and they will always be far out. But you know, you're exploring, so and let me see. Let me check the academy on this refinery. Well, good. I might be able to haul some gold back just because I'm greedy. So we'd like it in there, and that's where we'll head next. Make sure I'm fueled up. I was talking, and didn't forget that. And the next one is just right over here in Sheba. Okay, see so this this makes okay. That's where I'm going. I was gonna say it makes a little sense of coming this way, but yeah. So I'll just fork off here if I can get into it. And I'm not looking at missions here. I actually created a central depot where I will uh, pick up all my missions and then uh, I come out and then go back to there. Uh, unlike uh, my prior videos where I would grab as many missions as I could in a specific area. Here I have one focal point and I keep going back to that. And technically I did have one focal point and the other one that was uh, high tech uh, planet. Okay, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, okay, I'm obviously missing something here. I don't know where that one's from. Ah, someone who's trying to kill me, but where, uh, it must be I went up in a rank or something. Uh, probably this one right here, because this is my home base. So I guess I went up rank. That's the ones I try to save. It's one, and this one probably is the other one. Yep. So I can delete these top ones. I don't know why I saved the others. I guess to remind me that I've increased my rank. Let's see how long it takes. So this is the second run and I've increased my rank uh, with them, which is good. So let's go to the surface. Fuel. Yep. So. And I won't have, I won't do the video in the long run back, we'll just go to this next stop. You, you'll get an idea. I, I go back to 64 Arteus, pick up missions, try to keep them same area. This time I did six, probably should have just did about four. And then I run the missions, and on the way back I usually bring gold. Uh, or other commodities that, uh, I haven't found the other commodities since I've run it once, but if I could find another commodity that was profitable, I would. Gold still seems to be very profitable right now. Okay, so we can jump here. Now it's my understanding that the further out you go, like to the, the Maya, the missions you can start making 
a few million uh, a run. I'm I'm already about two million a run, and that's entry. So, and that would be a crash. So I'll I'll leave it there, and I'll cut the video.